Hello everyone, welcome again to Tech UK and this video which is a look around the entry level wheel from Frostmaster, the T128. So let's get on with today's video. Let's start by having our usual look around the box. This is the Xbox and PC version of the T128. They also do a PC and PlayStation version. We have a picture of the front of the steering wheel on the side of the box and some information just letting us know it's a free spoke wheel with a round rim for use of all types of vehicles. There's also an LED for the engine speed as well. That's going to be pretty useful. Magnetic pedals and 13 action buttons. On the side of the box, we've got a picture of the basic pedals that come with the T128. So let's have a look inside the box. In here we've got the desk clamp, we've got the power adapter along with the USB cable. This is the pedal set and this of course is the steering wheel. Taking a closer look at the steering wheel, it's actually a really nice looking wheel and the base is in their new sort of hexagon style that Thrustmaster are going for. It's very plasticky, the whole steering wheel is a complete plastic construction. All the buttons that you need are there, like I say this is the Xbox version so we have got the Xbox A, B, X and Y. On the back there we've got all the plugins, they plug in underneath and you've got some cable management as well. Taking a closer look at the pedal set, that plastic theme is even more evident here. Very, very plasticky, almost toy-like actually. There's two pedals and of course you've got quite a good grip there for your feet. Being an entry-level wheel, I'm not going to connect it up to the racing rig. I'm going to connect it up to my desk as you probably would if you was buying your first wheel. So let's get that done and start playing some games. Let's start with some Forza Motorsport. On the steering wheel there, you can see the rev indicator, which is a really nice touch actually at this price point. And it's so much more immersive than playing on controller. There's no doubt about that. And this wheel does that very, very well. The only thing I would say, I'm not getting a huge amount of force feedback through the wheel. Maybe the settings need changing in Forza, but straight out of the box for this steering wheel and Forza Motorsport, there isn't a huge amount of force feedback but like I say this is the most immersive way to play a game like Forza and it does this really well. Next up is Truck and Logistics Simulator and this is a fantastic game recently released still great on controller but something like this a truck simulator needs to be played really ideally on a steering wheel and there is a problem with the game it doesn't chuck out a huge amount of force feedback itself it's more resistance based but still playing something like Truck and Logistics Simulator on this steering wheel is absolutely perfect. Overall, the feeling of the wheel is fine. Like I say, it is a solid plastic construction for the rim, so be prepared for that. You can't swap the rim out. When it's actually bolted to the desk, it's very, very strong, but it's not adjustable in any way. You can't sort of tilt it towards you. That's all dependent on your desk. But overall, it's a very nice wheel. It's going to be a great addition as a starter wheel, and it will enhance those sort of vehicular games that you've already got. I think for the price point, the fact that it has got that rev limiter light on there is a very nice addition. I like the shape of it. The actual plastic steering wheel doesn't bother me too much and it all feels sturdy. And there is a decent amount of false feedback there which can be improved with settings in the game. But we do move on to a weak part of the package. The weak part of the package is the pedals, I'm afraid. They are very, very low quality. And if you think that this is actually meant to be the replacement for the T150, okay, they did a pro version of the T150, which I have actually reviewed on this channel, which I will put above me. And that come with some really nice pedals. This is a great wheel. It's a really manageable wheel, and it will do most of the tasks that you want it to do, but the pedal set won't. Excuse the lighting down here, it's below my desk. Now, the problem is with the pedal set, it's very flimsy, and when you're racing or when you're driving, you have to concentrate and keep your heels on the front of the pedal set, and that's fine. As long as you weight the front of them, you can put the accelerator or brake down, and it will be pretty stable. The minute you take your heel off, any kind of movement just upsets it and it moves all over the place. There's no weight to it. It's very flimsy, very toy-like, and unfortunately, it doesn't complement the package. 
So talking of price point, how much is this wheel? Currently on Amazon, £129. I think that's a really good price. And I don't think you're going to get a branded, decent quality product much cheaper than that. You know, it is a decent company. It's Thrustmaster, good software support. The build quality of the wheel itself is fantastic. I can't fault that, certainly not for that price. And we've already spoken about the pedal set. So if this is you're buying it for your son or daughter as their first wheel, absolutely perfect. If you're buying it for yourself, maybe you've just brought truck and logistics and you want to get into more sim stuff or farming sim this is going to be absolutely fine however i would consider going up the range a little bit within thrustmaster and looking at the t248 the t248 is about a hundred pound extra but let's have a look and see what that hundred pound actually gets you the steering wheel unit itself is of similar quality, albeit a slightly larger diameter wheel, a sort of soft leverette feel to the steering wheel rather than hard plastic, and it has got a little information window which will give you information in certain games. The pedal set is where the big upgrade is for the T248. You can see it's a free pedal set. They're metal, it's much bigger, much wider, so it's gonna be more stable. And around the back, it has got the load cell brake mod. That's not to say that I don't recommend the 128, I just think the 248 is the slightly better purchase long term. I can see someone purchasing the 128, maybe getting a deeper interest into sim racing and having to upgrade. With something like the 248, I don't think you'd actually ever need to upgrade that wheel. But with all that being said, I still think it's a good wheel, especially that price point, £129, perfect for a first wheel. Just beware of that pedal set. I'd love to know in the comments section below, if you've got first-hand experience with either of these wheels, give us some feedback from your point of view. I'd love to hear in the comments section below. But that is it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.